Welcome, you are now watching the installation guide video for the AL30, AL40, ZK Teco brand door locks. Here we see all the components that come with the door locks. In the box, you will find three sets of screws are provided to fit a 35 to 40 millimeter, 40 to 50 millimeter, and 50 to 53 millimeter width of door. Before we install the new doorknob, we may need to make a couple of holes first. To start, place the provided template onto the door. Mark the size of the hole and start drilling. If there is an original hole on your door, you may need to adjust it to the correct size. If you want to fasten the door lock using the stud, you will need to drill the second smaller hole. Otherwise, you can use the 3M tape to secure the lock and skip this step. The back set should be 60 or 70 millimeters, which will decide the length of the deadbolt latch. Still using your template, you will mark the size of the hole on the side of the door and make the hole. Again, if there is an original hole on your door, please adjust it to the correct size. Once that is done, measure the door thickness to select the appropriate pack of screws. Now, we can move on to the latch installation. Before you install the latch, you can adjust the length of latch according to the back set. Make sure the bolt is in the retracted position and the arrow is facing upwards. Insert the latch into the door and secure it by using the B screws. We're now moving on to the outdoor assembly installation. As noted earlier, there are two methods. Method one is using the stud, and the other method is using 3M tape. Let's watch method one first. Turn the spindle to the horizontal position. Secure the stud to the hole at the upper back of the outdoor assembly. Pass the cable through the door hole from below the latch and insert the outdoor assembly through the latch. Keep holding the outdoor assembly and pass the cable through the hole of the mounting plate. Then attach the mounting plate and gasket on the door. Secure them by inserting three C screws. Now let's take a look at method two. Just as in method one, you need to turn the spindle to the horizontal position. Adhere the 3M tape on the mounting plate of the outdoor assembly. Pass the cable through the door hole from below the latch and insert the outdoor assembly through the latch. Adhere the 3M tape on the mounting plate of the indoor assembly. Pass the cable through the hole of the mounting plate, then attach the mounting plate and gasket on the door. Secure them by inserting two C screws. Now let's look at the indoor assembly installation. Turn the knob until it is facing the unlock symbol. Connect the male cable to the female connector on the indoor assembly. Attach the indoor assembly to the mounting plate. Secure it by inserting two A screws. We have just completed the installation, now let's do the mechanical test. Rotate the knob from indoor to check if the latch bolt can be extended correctly. Then test the key from outdoor to check if the latch bolt can be extended correctly. If you have any issues with functionality, please re-watch the installation process and reinstall the lock. Once the installation has been completed, it's time to start the initialization process. First, insert three AA alkaline batteries in the lock. Then use a needle or a pin to press and hold the reset button. 
Now insert the last battery and do not release the reset button until the lock generates voice prompts. After 10 seconds, the lock will prompt complete, which means the initialization process is completed. Install the battery cover, then you can verify with any fingerprint or password to test. Please note that the initial lock can be opened by any verification until the first administrator is registered. Thanks for watching.